Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline and today is a video that is a little bit of this, a little bit of that as I always say. So the main part of the video is a haul as you can tell because I'm in my YouTube slash dining room studio and I have been picking up some big things. I know, I'm not supposed to be picking up big things, but you know me, I always announce I'm not gonna pick up big things, and then I pick up big things. I can't help it. <laughs> so I'm going to go over not only the big things that I've been picking up and selling, but a few other things, pretty much vintage hard goods that I have on the table before me, and maybe some clothing. So you can tell I'm all over the place today. Today is Friday, and this will probably be Sunday's video. I am gonna do this video, and then I'm headed out to downtown Lancaster on a date. So pretty excited for this date. I've been dating this guy for a while now and hopefully I'll get him into a video soon. You never know. He's super cute. So not only is he cute, but how did I go down this rabbit hole? But he is a reseller and uh, yeah, I'm a little smitten. So there's always that. His feedback score. Can we talk his feedback score? So if you don't know what feedback score is, is when you sell on eBay, they give you a score for the amount of feedback that your buyers leave for you. And while this doesn't represent how many buyers you've had over the course of selling online, it does give a good general rule that your number is one third of how many transactions you have made. So I think mine's about 7,500. And are you ready for what his is? 108,000. Amazing. So he has been selling for 20 years, very knowledgeable, really good seller. And uh, yeah, guess where I met him? In Goodwill. And I am over the moon. All right, let's get on with the haul before I go down a rabbit hole and just talk about nothing else but dating. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get going. Let's see what crazy things I found this time. All right, so the first thing that you can tell by my thumbnail that I picked up, I found this in the bins. So I went into the bins to talk to friends and hang out for a little while, and out of the corner of my eye, I see this huge painting. Now, I don't do a lot of big paintings, famous less words. I have done a few prints, and this one is a print. It's not an original. But when I saw this, I just couldn't walk away from it, and yep, I bought it. So you might have seen this on my Instagram. It is Carmen. <laughs> Look how big she is. She's almost as big as I am. But how good is this? I got my ring light shining away, so I'll have to tilt her. So this is a print, and on the back it says Carmen, and gives a bunch of uh, lettering and numbering serial numbers, and it's 24 by 36. And where did this come from? Perth, Amboy, New Jersey. I believe this is the 1960s. I know some of you on Instagram made comments that you had this in your house growing up or you bought it for yourself. There is a painting that goes with this. This is my knowledge and it is a guy. I forgot to look up who the guy is. I don't have knowledge of it. And when you have the pair together, you can sell this for over $200. So I only found her, unfortunately, I didn't see her bow. Isn't that always the way. <laughs> He's never around when you need him. And what did I pay for this? $3.99. So this is the first find. I'm not sure what I'm going to price this at yet. I haven't listed it. Definitely Facebook Marketplace local pickup and probably eBay local pickup. I will not ship this. This is too crazy to pack and ship. And the shipping um, fee would kill the sale, I'm sure. But one thing I did pack and ship, which I filmed this morning, was the um, lamp that I showed on Instagram. So, so I will insert a photo of it here and this morning I um, put my big girl pants on and filmed the packaging and shipping of it for you guys because you've been asking for me to show how I ship big items. So I, I just filmed the whole thing of how I get a lamp ready to ship and that video will either be out a little bit before this one or after. I'm not sure of the lineup in the queue and it'll probably be Lisa's decision. Lisa's my daughter and she edits all my videos. I'll leave it up to her of when to post that video. All right, so the lamp is shipped out. Carmen is here with me, and we're going to go on to another really big item. 
Okay, so this next item I have on the floor beside me, I'm gonna pick up most of it. So I found the Dyson, I forget what this one is called. It's the canister one, the really big one, purple. It has the attachments and the big giant hose and power head. <laughs> So what did I pay for you, Mr. Dyson? I think I paid, I peeled off the sticker because I took photos. This is listed on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid 40 for it, 20? 20, I think I paid $20 for it. And it was um, quite dusty. So I took it outside, took the whole thing apart and blew out the motor or the circulating fan, not quite sure what it's called, with my power blower, with my leaf blower. And that worked great. So that is something new I've been doing lately when I have items that are really dusty and really dirty and they can take a really powerful hit with air, I bring them outside and blow them out before I clean them with my leaf blower. And that worked wonders, all the dust that came out of this thing. And then I took the whole vacuum apart and cleaned it. Now that did take time, but I think I have this listed for, what do I have you listed for, 125? So it took me about 20 minutes to do the cleanup, which is a little bit longer than what I like to spend on an item but I couldn't leave it behind because Dyson's always sell for me. This will be my third Dyson, I think. I just started picking up vacuums. Well, I shouldn't say I'm picking up vacuums. Dyson's, only Dyson's, probably about six months ago. I've had two other ones. Those were both the stick vacuums, much easier. We'll see how this big canister one does, and I'll report back to you guys on Instagram, Lavender Clothesline. Okay, we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Here is a fully embroidered vintage, maybe antique, I think it's vintage, vest, sleeveless jacket, silk, mandarin collar, gorgeous, gorgeous, all embroidered article of clothing. So when you see embroidered clothing a lot, I always gravitate towards embroidered clothing because you guys know me, I always talk about my favorite brand, Johnny Was, that has a lot of embroidery. When you see different qualities of embroidery, when you see a good one, it's just breathtaking. And this one is just beautifully done. So not only is the embroidery over the whole thing, but in certain areas they've used metallic thread and it almost tells a story. It's got the center square. I love when they do this. And look at this, this is all embroidered in different colors. I believe the embroidery on this is all hand done. This is not machine done. Look at that. And it's in beautiful, clean condition. Very little, um, little tiny marks on the inside of the collar, but I don't think it's from wear. This looks like it was never worn. So you can see a few spots. It looks like spots just from this being in existence. I'll put it that way. I don't think this is from any kind of body oil or anything like that, but I saw this and just fell in love. I mean, it's just... I love stuff like this. If this was more my style, if it didn't have big dragons on it, I might keep it. Probably not because I listed it and within a very short amount of time, I think probably within 12 hours, it has its first bid for $200. Now the buyer has not paid and that auction has not ended, but these type of items can bring very good money, especially if you have an antique one. Now it's my knowledge the antique ones do not have labels inside. They're, they're pre-label or they were custom. This one does have a label and I'm gonna show you guys the label. So that is what the label looks like. Hopefully the camera um, zeroed in on that and it does not have the size. So in my title, when something doesn't have the size and it's an important garment, in my opinion, I will go ahead and put fits large question mark and then give as many measurements as I can so that when a buyer is scrolling past, they see some form of identification size-wise in the title. But I don't want to confuse prospective buyers. So I always put the size, so like size large, I'll put an L and then space question mark. That way if somebody is looking for a large, mine will come up. But again, in the item's uh, description and condition, I fully state I'm not positive there is no sizing in the article of clothing. And I think that's okay to do. So that is this beautiful item. 
and let's go on to the next item. All right, we're gonna do one more piece of clothing because I really wanna talk about this brand. This is a man's uh, wool cashmere blend coat. So I saw this sitting on a rack. All I did was put my hand down it like this and you can feel the quality of the garment. You can just feel it. It is just so like supple and so finely made. I got really excited. When I opened the coat, it's a winter overcoat. And here we are in August and my Goodwills are starting to put out the winter clothing and nobody's looking at it. I love this time of year. Can we all say that together? This is the time to start to pick up winter clothes because the general shopping public, whether they're resellers or not, are not looking for winter stuff because it's 90 degrees out. But this is my favorite time to pick up cool weather or cold weather items is in the heat of August if your stores put them out. Sometimes they usually put them out around September. All right, so when I opened the coat, the first thing I look for even before branding is that the, the inside lining is in very good condition because even if you have a high-end coat, the sale is really gonna be hurt by this satin lining being ripped or torn. A lot of times if it's true silk, it'll be deteriorated if it's an older coat, but uh, beautiful, beautiful condition. This armhole, when they attach the sleeve, this is all hand done. So you know this is not something that they're just producing, you know, for 40 bucks. But this is Canali Proposta. So that is the official brand of it. I'm going to show you the label on that. The other side of the coat, inside the lapel, it says Lana Cashmere. So Lana is wool, I think in Italian, it might be in Spanish also. Uh, clothier, clothieri, Phoenix. I don't know how to say that, Clothieri. I'll show you the labels. So when I saw this branding, I knew it was very good branding. When you find that kind of branding, a lot of times the store that sold it will also be identified in the coat. And I was looking up and down the lapels, I'm like, huh, where is the label? Was it, you know, Bergdorf Goodman? Was it um, Nordstrom's? Where did this coat come from? And then inside this pocket, it's like this little secret pocket here, I reached in and found the tag that gives you the sizing or the numbers for it. And right next to it is a little tiny, beautiful, beautiful tag. We love this tag. Do we love this tag? Yes, we do. Very exciting. This is Laurel Piana. So I'm going to try to get this so you guys can see it. Let me see if I could stick my finger in it. I don't know if that's going to translate well. Laurel Piana is a store that I talk about, or a company, I should say, quite a bit because I've only found Laurel Piana, I think, definitely once, maybe twice in my eight years. Uh, probably about four years ago, I found a woman's sweater, saw it from across the thrift store, just tried to calmly make a beeline for it because you could see the quality of it. It was so exciting. You could tell when I get excited, I start talking with my hands. I went over to that sweater, baby alpaca. Pretty sure it was baby alpaca or was it cashmere? I think it was alpaca. I'll try to insert a photo. I probably don't have that. And it was half off day at Goodwill. It was a Goodwill. And what did I get for that? If I'm not mistaken, I got $475. So you can be sure I look for Laurel Piana and it's a label you really want to learn. So I am thrilled for this coat. What did I pay for this coat? $10.25. And uh, I have this listed, I think I'm listed at $200 or $300. I think $200. Don't quote me on that. You can always go into my store and see what I'm listed for. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to share that with you guys because Laurel Piana is a name to remember. Okay, now we're gonna go on to a few smaller things, uh, just as interesting in my opinion. Some of it I know what it is, some of it I don't, as I always say, but I'd like to show you guys what I'm picking up. And yeah, let's start with the first item. I know what this is. This is a totem pole. So the minute I saw this, I said, yes, please. And it is made in Alaska and it is signed something. Made in Alaska by Raven. Good job, Raven. <laughs> I'll show you that. And on the back, it has a little sticker. 
definitely vintage, definitely will pick up totem poles, tiki's, anything like that, anything Polynesian, of course Alaskan, any kind of native souvenirs like this. I don't know what words I want, but you get the gist of it. Absolutely, yes, 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 this is all carved, and I love finding these. All right, what else should we talk about? Let's talk about this guy here. Saw so him sitting on the shelf. I couldn't believe nobody took this. Look how good this is. I mean, how wonderful would this be to keep little trinkets in or have a little air plant? Oh, an air plant would be so cute. So the minute I saw this, I said, yep, I'm taking that. And this is Storybrooke Hollow. And I paid $4.99, didn't even take the stickers off yet. So that's what it looks like. I imagine that's the company because I don't know. I don't know a lot about what I pick up, but I thought he was fantastic. He almost reminds me of those tree faces. What are those called? Tree gnomes? You know the tree faces that people hang on the bark or the trunk of their trees? Leave a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, it's just so like the whole woodland creatures living in the woods, um, you know, elves and, and gnomes and fairies and and these guys. <laughs> That's what I think about it anyway. But I said yes to him. $4.99. No idea what I'm going to get. I'm sure when I look up Storybrooke Hollow, I should be able to find this. Okay, the next item. No clue. No idea. I couldn't walk away from it, which is becoming quite common for me. This trumpet vase. This looked so different to me. I didn't know what I had. There's no marking on it that I found. It's made out of metal. And I'm pretty sure this is older. That is what the bottom looks like. I just love this. It reminds me almost like a calla lily or um, what flower would this be? What do are, what are the hummingbirds go to? Hibiscus, mandevilla, Trying to think of what flowers those are. Tulip flowers, trumpet flowers. That's what this reminds me of. And I paid $2.99 for it. So it was so unique and so different. I said yes to it. Now for $3, you know me, I will buy in at a low enough price, even if I don't know what I have and have to do research. But I don't mind for a piece like this. I think it's good and I know I will make profit on it. it might take a while to sell. And I don't imagine this is commonly made. Sometimes when I come across different pieces, the way I tell whether I'm gonna pick it up or not, I say to myself, can I buy this in Target? Can I buy this in Home Goods? Have I ever seen this? Most times if I say no and it looks like a quality piece, that's what causes me to put it in my cart. Do not follow anything I say when I get like that, but that's what I do and somehow it has always worked out for me. So I said yes to a metal trumpet black flower vase. Okay, I gotta keep going here and not tell stories for every item because this video won't be two hours long. Alright, so just gonna blow through a few pieces. Keep me on track guys. I picked this beautiful Nautilus shell planter up from Italy. It is marked number 36 out of 45. Usually when you see an item that is numbered, it'll say number 52 out of 30 million. You know, it's this big number. So this 36 out of 45, I don't know what to think about that. But the one thing I do think is, yes, please get in my cart. And again, beautiful planter and to have like an air plant or just something so pretty coming out of it. I thought like a cactus would be really pretty. It's in great shape and I paid $1.99. You guys know me, I don't pick up a lot of these dishes, so I was in a mood. They're just vintage pretties, pretty dishes. Let's see if I hold that back from the light a little bit, maybe that'll be better for us. $2.99. I picked this one up and I picked this one up. So from the stickers, you can tell that these came from somebody else's business, maybe an antique shop or a vintage booth. And they were selling this one for six and this one for six. And I got them for $2.99 and $2.99. I don't pick this up a lot. A lot of times these are Germany, Bavaria, Czechoslovakia, 
but when they are this size, I love this for a vanity or for, you know, even a doorway where you come in to put like the change from your pocket. Now it's not really a good idea to put metal into it because the paint will get scratched up, but I think the original use for these are relish trays. And I don't really know of anybody sitting down to dinner that's putting out a rose plate with relish in it or little olives or something. I think I'd like to go to dinner at that person's house, but I don't see this type of dinnerware, this type of china being used for its intended use. So the whole repurposing thing, I think the more keywords you can put into your title to give people the idea of how they can use this, the better off you will be selling these. So I said yes to these too. This next item is just a little paperweight. I really liked the glass. It does have something written on the bottom that I have used Google Image. I have taken pictures of it with my phone. I have used a magnifying glass. To me, it looked like the number 500, so I'm not exactly sure. It does have a few bubbles inside. They don't look like controlled bubbles. Controlled bubbles are when bubbles are purposefully put into the glass at increments that are even. So it'll be like, you know, bubble, like a centimeter, bubble, a centimeter. These have free bubbles, free floating bubbles. There's a name to it. I don't know what it is, but I said yes to this guy. I paid 99 cents for him and just a beautiful piece of art glass. Right now it's been sitting on my desk because I haven't photographed it yet. We will do one pair of shoes because you know me, I always do a pair of shoes. And then we will go on to some vintage bells, which I always say I don't pick up bells. These bells are different. So I saw these sitting on a shelf. These are Puma, these are Puma Roma. And the thing I liked about them is they have a little pin which is permanently attached for BMW. So this is the Motorsport Puma uh, sneaker. And while this pair won't bring a very high dollar amount, I didn't want to leave these behind. I still have to clean them and de-sticker them and all of that. They are genuine leather. I will use the Martins Balsam. I know I'm a broken record with that stuff, but that's my go-to leather cleaner. And I clean out the insides with the Clorox wipes. So I won't have to bleach the laces with this or anything, because sometimes I'll do like a light bleaching for laces if they're really, you know, not great looking. But I think I paid, yeah, I did $9.47 for these. A little bit high for me, but I thought with the BMW tagging, they would do okay. All right, so I bought some bells, some brass bells. It's going to get noisy. I will try to not ring the bells too loud. We'll see how I do with that. These items came in from the same person who donated the, the dishes. You know how these had a sticker? All of these bells had a sticker too. So we'll see what that person thought they were worth. How good is this? This reminds me of Downton Abbey. I watched the movie the other night while I was folding inventory and um, I just love the whole, the whole Downton Abbey look and the whole theme and the whole, so beautiful brass bells on a leather strapping. Let's see what the person said about it. Sleigh bells. So it looks like something harness sleigh bells. They wanted $115, but they weren't able to sell it because they donated it. $12.99 was the price I paid at Goodwill, but it was Senior Citizen Day. So I did receive 15% off. So that is bell item number one. The next set of bells were these bells. Let's see if I can get them. I really like that sound. I thought these were for over a store door, but the way that they hang is different. So I'm pretty sure, unless I'm wrong, that the bell that hung over a doorway had to have a bracket. So when the door was pushed open, it would hit the bell. I don't think that's the case here. I could look at what they're saying it is shaft bells. I don't even know what that means. They wanted $39 and what did I pay? $6.99 minus the 15%. So I took two of those. And the last bell is this bell. I'm afraid to ring these. I'm going to hurt your ears. Oh, it's a loud one. That to me almost sounds like a boat bell, but the person who donated it, a school bell, $45. I kind of trust that they knew what they were talking about and I will probably 
put whatever words they have on their tag. I will use those in my keywords unless I research it and, and disagree. $9.99 minus the 15%. So I said yes to that. Okay, the next item is a book. I hardly ever buy books. I buy Bibles, sometimes medical books. Once in a while, a cookbook. <laughs> okay, truth be told, if you look at my store, I probably have quite a bit of books. But I'm not like an Amazon bookseller. I don't go around scanning books. To me, that would just send me over the edge. But when I see a book that looks really unusual and just really niche down, like very, very um, zeroing in on a certain niche, I kind of want to buy that book, and this should bring very good profit. Vasin, I think is the title there. Let's see if that'll... I paid $1.99 for it. Spirits and Monsters of Scandinavia Folklore, collected and illustrated by Johan mm, Erker Kramas. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. But when I opened the book, I said, oh yeah, I'm buying that. And, um, and then I ran comps and sure enough, it is a good one. So it has all kinds of folklore. Look at these pages. I love stuff like this. Ooh, look at her. So for $1.99, yes, all day long. And I think when I comped these, this should do about $40 to $50. I could run another comp to make sure uh, before I list it, which I will do. But I think quickly when I was in the store, after it was already in my cart and I committed to buying it, I did look it up. And I think I saw $40 to $50. So good find on this book. So the last item I'm going to share with you today, paddles. I have a thing for tennis rackets, different game paddles, I don't know, ping pong paddles, racquetball paddles, and I found these. This is Autograph by Marcraft, M-A-R-C-R-A-F-T. This is vintage, and what did I pay? $2 a piece. When I find these type of rackets or paddles, I do a comp on them because I don't know the different brands or the different, uh, sometimes I don't even know what sport, it's for, one time I picked up, it wasn't really a paddle, it was almost like high lie or something. Is that even a thing, high lie? And I really have to, to comp everything. But uh, these are wood. I just love the aesthetic of these. Even if somebody doesn't use them for sport anymore, I think these would be great hanging on a wall as decor. Just, it really gives you that vintage vibe. So I said yes to them and I will report back. I'm expecting probably about $30 for the two paddles. All right, I think we're gonna stop there. I do have a few more pieces, but we'll save those for another day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for all of your wonderful comments and encouragement on Instagram. When I post something, I'll show something that's sold and I'm celebrating all excited. And you guys are just so gracious and kind to celebrate with me that, you know, when I find something and it sells for a really good price, you guys are really, really kind and I just appreciate it so much. All right, that is the video for today. I am out and about because my date is gonna be here in a little while. I'm very excited for this date, super excited. Really, really like this, guys. So fingers crossed that all goes well. And as always, go out and get what's yours.